My question is from Councillor Israel Salanga. As Chairman of the Committee on Government Assets, my question is, what is your best asset? My best asset in this competition is my passion and dedication. I am here not only with an objective to get the crown, but I am here to speak for my community. I am here with a reason, also to maximize my potential in public speaking. Ladies and gentlemen, every competition we have, it's not all about winning. It's about being there and speaking out for what you want and what you didn't want to deliver to your community. Thank you. Very well said, candidate number one. Okay, up next we have candidate number two, Therese Piraan. Hello, Therese. Hello, Therese. Kamusta ka? I'm doing great. I can see my friends up there. Hello! Second, Therese, so warm up question Mona. How did you prepare for this very special night? Well, for preparation, I really had a tough time, I'll be honest. I am bad at time management. So, but yeah, I try to make up and I, I'm doing better now with time management. I love it. Gusto ko yun, very self-aware ka dyan, ha? Okay, what's important is that we work on our weaknesses, di ba? Okay, so now, feel free to get your question from the fishbowl. So my question is from Councillor Renesito Novero. What is the relevance of beauty pageants to the issues of peace, economy, and community development? So as a beauty queen, it is our responsibility to remain graceful in times of pressure as we are role models. As a Bacolenya, I refuse to just be a bystander. I want to take part in doing choices and in resolving issues. Because I believe that the platform that are given to us, it is entrusted to us, and we should educate, help educate the people. Because with this, we can make a, the Bacolod City the super city. Thank you. Thank you so much, candidate number two, Therese. We have candidate number three here, Tracy Masunia. Hello, Tracy. Okay, so Tracy, ito ang aming pa-warm-up question for you. Okay, saan ba makakakain ng best chicken in a sal para sa'yo? Of course, I got, I got chicken in a sal in Manungan country. Okay, kita-kita mamaya doon. <laughs> Nagutom bigla. Okay, so I hope that relaxed you. Go ahead and pick your question. Please read it. My question is from Councillor Simple Distrito. If crowned as Miss Bacolod Mascara 2023, how can you help overcome poverty, particularly in the depressed areas of Bacolod City? One of the things that I would do is to make use of my platform. As a Miss Bacolod Mascara, I need to be an advocate and also a voice to those who are voiceless. And I want to be able to make use and, and also, also partner with organizations that can help poverty in, uh, in particular areas. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right, thank you so much, Tracy Sunyo. Next up, Miss Baholod Mascara number four, Marianelle Tan. Okay. Hi, Marianelle. Maghaya ka naman sa mga fans mo dito sa right side. Okay, so may pa warm up question din tayo para kay Marianelle. What is the first thing you will do 
after this competition and pageant. After this competition, I will celebrate with my family and friends. We will be together. I've been dieting since I started. <laughs> okay. So, we will eat a lot of chicken and nasal and many, many more. <laughs> yes. Okay, so, yeah. so I hope you're ready for your question. You may pick the question from the fishbowl. My question is from Councillor Vladi Gonzalez. Master Festival was born out of a crisis. After more than 40 years, we are now promoting Bacolod as a progressive super city. How do we promote and encourage investors to visit the city of smiles? Again, Master Festival was born out of a crisis. After more than 40 years, we are now promoting Bacolod as a progressive Progressive Super City. How do we promote and encourage investors to visit the City of Smiles? We can definitely see and feel that Bacolod City is now maneuvering into a super city. We can see it through our thriving BPO companies and there are a lot of investors that are coming in. Opportunities for people, employees for every family. So, as a Bacolod, Miss Bacolod Mascara, what I will do is to promote Bacolod City wherever I go, whenever I can so that I will be able to showcase the whole city to the universe. Thank you! Thank you, Janina. You're so good. Yes! Then, that's why she has a hair flip. Right? Maybe she's also good at school. Okay, the answer is... Why is it not? Okay, so now we have, of course, candidate number five, Geraldine Joy Basto. Hello, Geraldine. Hi, Geraldine. How are you? I'm feeling great. I'm nice. kind of nervous. <laughs> Warm-up question, Mona? Sure. Okay. So I'm sure that being a candidate is very, very stressful. So how do you keep yourself relaxed? I do compartment, compartment, excuse me, sorry, compartmentalize. I set aside my emotion and I focus on uh, whatever happened now and I focus always on the goal. Yeah, and dapat ganyan. Yeah, compartmentalize. Oh, We're learning okay. from our candidates. Go ahead. Pick your Please question. Pick your question. My question is from Mayor Albi Benitez. The question is, who would you choose a man of your dream or the man who gets you you the man who gives your dream. Again, who would you choose? A man of your dream or the man who gives you your dream? Wow. <laughs> man of your dreams? Let's all settle down, please. Just to show respect. The man who gives you your dreams. I believe, ladies and gentlemen, I would choose the man who gives me my dream. Because I am an indecisive person and I want someone to guide me and help me reach the goal that I want and this time as a Miss McCall Mascara, um, I want to thank someone, especially my parents in Africa, for helping me um, choose the, and focus to the goal that I want. Thank you. Thank you so much! Very well said. Before we continue, I would just like to acknowledge the presence, of course, of Ating Victoria City Mayor, Mayor Javi Benitez. As a Mayor Javi, yon! And of course, kasama niya, ang napakaganda niya ang gulo ko, si Ms. Sue Ramirez. Ayan, and also joining them, our First Lady, Ms. Nikki Benitez. Hello po sa inyo lahat. Wow, I love the energy, the back. I'm so happy that we can all celebrate and smile-abrate together. Thank you so much for gracing us with your presence. Okay, so now, at na nga, nag-aantay na siya. I love it. We have candidate number six, Aliona Nehar. Aliona, kamusta ka naman? Okay, ito, pang-parelax lang. What was the most memorable part of your pageant journey dito sa MBM 2023? 
all of it actually. I was able to create sisterhood, we are able to create memories that once in a lifetime opportunity that I will take in my life forever. Oh, I love it. Lahat ni siya makapili, all of them. Okay, so yes, go ahead and pick your question. So my question is from Counselor Celia Flor. How do you think beauty pageants like this Bacolod Mascara promote or contribute to women empowerment? How do you think beauty pageants like Miss Bacolod Mascara promote or contribute to women empowerment? Well, I myself, I am passionate in women empowerment. I am a product of criticism, discrimination, and I've lost my confidence before, but Joining beauty pageants, I was able to promote my causes, my advocacy, and I was able to inspire a lot of women. I was a passerella assistant coach in my beauty pageant camp, and I was able to create and empathize with them. And through that, I am empowered women. Thank you. Thank you so much. I can so shout out to all the empowered women. Yeah. Look forward to happen tonight. Ladies! <laughs> and at the end, moving forward, we have candidate number seven, Jada Biaxil Celeste. Hi, Jada. How are you? So, okay, warm up question, Muna. How do you feel now that your journey is about to come to an end? Um, of course, I feel sad. However, I'm also happy because I was able to learn a lot of things from this journey and I believe that I would be bringing that forever with me. Thank you. Aww, I love it. Okay, I hope you're ready for your actual question. Go ahead and pick from the fishbowl. My question is from Counselor Tadi Saison. What do you think should be the priority of of the city in terms of its budget usage. Again, what do you think should be the priority of the city in terms of its budget usage? If I will be given the chance, I would like to offer it to education because I believe that there is still a lot of people, especially students, who wants to go to school, however, cannot afford to do so and cannot have quality education. So as a Miss Bacall Master and as a, as a woman who have a voice and a platform, I would like to address this problem by working hand in hand with our government for us, especially the youth, to have quality education for them to, uh, to achieve the success that they have always been dreaming for. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jada. Next up, we have candidate number eight, Janine Cabrillos. Hi, Janine. Hi, Janine. Okay, so Janine, Bampa Kalma lang muna. Okay. What or who was your rock throughout this entire competition? Sino yung lagi mo pinupuntahan for advice? It would always be my family because they're, 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 they are the very foundation of my success here and my strength here in this competition. Thank you so much, Janine. Shout out to uh, all mga family members that have been candidates. Alam ko, actually, baka mas nervous pa sila. Diba? Okay, so go ahead, pick your question. The question is from Counselor Fauci. Mascara Festival is known for its joyous facade. How can the festival help Bacolodons who are facing adversity? Again, Mascara Festival is known for its joyous facade. How can the festival help Bacolodons who are facing adversities? First of all, the joyous facade of Mascara Festival is because of its people. Every corner here in Bacolod City reminds us of our core and our identity as a city of Spal. And this celebration, which started from the tragedy and serves as our inspiration to continue moving forward, this is a celebration to all of our battles that we have conquered all throughout these years. 
and I believe that this Bacolod, that this Mascara Festival will continue to be a big contribution to our city where we will be able to celebrate more wins and development here in Bacolod City. Thank you. And thank you so much, Jimmy. Thank you so much, candidate number eight. And now we call on candidate number nine, Kayla Jane Tedarma. Okay, so Kayla, chica muna tayo. Who inspired you with your pageant journey right now? It's actually my grandfather. He is the person who pushed me. I remember the time that I went to his room and he told me that um, why can't you just join or go on an international pageant? Ah, it was your grandfather. Adito ba siya ngayon? Heaven. Okay, andito siya ngayon. Okay, hello, grandfather. <laughs> Lolo. Okay, so ready ka na. Please pick your question. What can women contribute to politics that can help transforming society? Again, what can women contribute to politics that can help in transforming society? Women has been a subject to misogyny and they're battling that since the beginning of time. But then because of our ancestors, we're able to fight. And now the women in the society are able to fight for their rights and of course speak for what they think is right. And transforming. And for me, being here as a candidate, I'm already helping or introducing a transformation because we're able to promote our advocacy. We are not just a candidate, we have a purpose. A purpose that not just us we can benefit, but for everyone. And with this, our voice must be heard. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much, Thank Kayla. you so much, candidate number nine. I'm sure your Lolo up in heaven is so proud of you. Yeah? Next up, we have number 10. Ellie Rose Elola. Hello, Ellie. Hi, Ellie. Okay, okay, so, Ellie, are you confident ba with your performance tonight? So far, so good. To be honest, I have profuse emotions right now, but I'm pretty confident that being nervous is not part of it. Yes, Samayan. Being nervous means you care, deba. It's a good sign. Okay, so I hope you're ready for your actual question. Go ahead. Okay, ah yes, it's just one, okay. So my question comes from Councilor Kalao Pantavilla. Last October 10, the world celebrated Mental Health Day as an empowered Bacolod nun. How can you advo advocate for this cause? Ever since I joined Beauty Pageants, I, I was always been an advocate for mental health awareness. As someone who experienced mental health issues and problems, especially during pre-pandemic, I know the value of educate, uh, education and educating our fellow Bacolod nuns and fellow Filipino citizens regarding mental health issues. Here in our community, the stigma is still strong, and I hope that someday I can eradicate that with the help of organizations and people to work with me, and hopefully, the MDM organization. Because by doing so, we are more than ready to showcase Bacolod Smiles to the world. Alright! Very well said, Candidate number 10. Thank you so much, Ellie. And now, ayan, we have a few more ladies. Candidate number 11 is Rose Mariel Sansing. Hello, Rose. Hi, Rose. So, good evening. How are you feeling? Well, like what Janina said a while ago, when you're nervous, it shows that you care. Alright, so just a warm-up question. Can you share with us your preparations for this night? Like for example, the diet, the workout routine, skincare routine? <laughs> Actually, when I speak, 
me for Miss Bacolod Master. I was 56 kilo and now I'm 50 kilos. I've lost a lot of weight and I do study, I do read and actually the workout was the hardest thing to do in the diet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm sure all of your preparations paid off. And feeling ko ready ka na. Ayan na, may game face on na siya. So go ahead. Please pick your question. Yes, choose your question. Okay. Okay, please read it out loud. It is from Counselor Jason Villarosa. If there is an animal that best depicts the Bacolod nuns in terms of attitude, personality, what do you think is that animal and why? Again, it is from Counselor Jason Villanueva. Avila Rosa, sorry. Is there an animal that best depicts the Bacolod nuns in terms of attitude and personality? What do you think that animal is and why? I believe it is an. They are very resilient. Just like right now, we are celebrating Bacolod Mascara Festival in Bacolod, wherein it shows resiliency of Bacolod Nons. That despite the challenges that we have experienced in the past, we stood strong together and here we are right now, every year celebrating. And I hope this continues on year on forward. Thank you. Thank you All so right. much. Thank you so much, candidate number 11. Okay, now moving forward to candidate number 12, Kyle Centillion. Hello, Kyle. Hello. Hello. Okay. So, what was your favorite pre-pageant event or experience? That would be the festival and talent costume because I am able to showcase to people my talent Ooh. and what I love, what I'm passionate about, which is performing. Okay, performing. Love it. Okay. So, grab it. And namin talaga nilang pinagdaanan throughout their whole pageant journey. And ito na nga. I hope you're ready for the next. You may choose your question. My question is from Counselor Aisha Joy Villaflor. What aspect of your generation that makes you hopeful about the future? Again, what aspect of your generation that makes you hopeful about the, the future? One thing that is 